What's up, YouTube? This your boy Shino Wallago. Go back again like a ball. No, today I have a top five for you. Um, this is gonna be my top five Kalos region Pokemon. I bet you guys are excited to see this. But first off, I want to let you guys know that sorry about that call out with time right into R2 being canceled. Homie has some shit to do. I don't even know, but I ain't even tripping. Um, but all in all, this is gonna be my favorite Pokemon by design from Kalos region. I mean, these Pokemon might not be the best Pokemon strategically. <laughs> strategically uh, I sound like David right now <gasps> shout out to that boy since he's a GP but um <laughs> these Pokemon have caught my eye and they, they pretty much snagged my attention just from the looks of it and I was pretty interested in these Pokemon when I seen them and I was like wow these Pokemon have massive potential they've come a long way and the design is just frankly good some people might not like these Pokemon but me personally I do so yeah that's my opinion. Remember, this is strictly my opinions. I hope you guys um, comment, rate, subscribe, and you guys check this out. So smash that like button for the first, first ever top five of the sixth gen season. I will be coming out with more of these. You might see another dual one just to give you guys a heads up. But anyways, enough of the double down. I've been talking for like a really long time. Let's get into it. Now, first up on this Pokemon top five list is none other than the Titanic Killer himself. It is Avalon. Um, I bet you guys are wondering why, you know, what the hell, you want a frozen coffee table chilling in your dinner room? But it's not even that. Like, look at it. Overall, this thing is um, pretty frail because it's ice and then it just gets wrecked. But overall, this Pokemon looks amazingly good. Look at its design. It's like an iceberg. Just imagine you want to take Titanic. <laughs> Sorry for you, Titanic fans and the people who are to the people that looked on Titanic. <laughs> This is my opinion. Um, but this shit looks like it's something that hit the Titanic. Like, just imagine you and on a massive boat and you just run straight past that. You guys are gonna be wondering like what the fuck. But the other thing I like about it is the purple the purplish color scheme. Like the purplish color scheme is like wow, yo. I was like, this Pokemon has massive potential and I was I was feeling it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend touching it because you might get the freezer burn. <laughs> That's the whole move I made. Uh, not a move, ability I made up for my uh Top five Pokemon abilities, or five or ten, or whatever. But just, just imagine, just imagine having in your house, like in the summertime. Your house will always be chill, like you wouldn't have nothing to worry about. So he earned that strictly on design. So yeah, good job, Avalog. Um, I don't think I'll be using you competitively, but yeah, let's move on down this list, guys. Okay, so coming in number four is not a month. Blah, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> coming in number four is none other than the Meow Stick. And basically, Meow Stick is overall a French looking Pokemon. They have these weird looking hats and they wear designs and they have scarves and shit. But overall, um, the male Meow, Meow Stick looks pretty decent. Um, a lot of people like it, but me personally, I love the female Meow Stick. That thing is a beast. Have you seen that speed and special attack? But the thing is, I, I think it's like really, really feral and it doesn't really get. Well, I'll get decent moves, so I wouldn't say it's like the baddest competitive Pokemon. But overall, just look at the female Meowstic. Like, wow, the male, he's, he's a defensive beast, but the, the girl, she just want to claw your eyes out. Like, I love the Pokemon. It's adorable looking. It's cute. It looks sweet. It's innocent. But once you get in battle, then you just straight smash. It's like you, there's nothing you can do. But other than that, yeah, I said but like a hundred motherfucking times. Um, but other than that, <laughs> there we go again. She deserves a solid number four for design. Um, Good job, uh, Game Freak, for this design on the uh, Meow Stick. I love the female Meow Stick. The guy's okay, but I prefer the girl. Um, so let's go on to number three. Stepping on the playing field, number three is none other than the third, one of the first Pokemon to be introduced in the sixth gen. It was Noivern. Noivern is the final evolution of Wu. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Noivad or some shit like that. I'm still learning the, the fifth gen. The, I say fifth gen. Oh my fucking god, kill me! Sixth gen. Um, but other than that, it, it's design is overall piece. Um, physically battling and shit like that, it suck. I'm sorry. I love your color scheme though. You have the beautiful purple with the the, the nice shade of black and the red, and you got the green with the yellow eyes and the the, the weird uh, bird, bat fur. Uh, but other than that, this Pokemon looks like something the Dark Knight himself will be carrying around. Just imagine Batman running through the streets with a noy bat. Uh, I said no bad, no Vern. See, I'm getting too confused. Fuck that, but no Vern. You are one of my favorites just on design. Um, you, you are hella fast. I give you that. You get your own special uh, move. It has like 120 accuracy. No, 120. Is that 120 power on um, special attack? I know it's that. I know it's special attack. Um, you get, you you get you get that as a plus, but it's normal, so it's no stab. But other than that, you 
I'm not the biggest Pokemon to be worried about what I'm going to see, so I'm sorry, but you earned a solid number three just from your design, so congrats for that. But other than that, um, yeah, I should be in 10 place. Um, <laughs> no, sorry, okay. Okay, so coming in at number two is none other than the Shifty Ninja Gera Ninja, the Surf, the Head Hunch Crow. N well, Head Honcho because he's not a Hunch Crow because he doesn't have wings and he's not a bear Pokemon. <sighs> but this is the final evolution of. Freaking Froki, everybody loves Froki. I mean, everybody was telling me pick Froki. I seen Froki on everybody LPs. Nappy is crazy about Froki. Um, overall, Garrett Ninja is a pretty amazing Pokemon. He has the uh, the protein ability, which gives it stab moves. That's his hidden ability. This Pokemon is fit competitively. Everybody runs it. Get a decent set. Get Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump, Surf, and uh, Extra Sensory. It has a unique move called Water Shuriken. It doesn't do much. It does light damage if you want to attack a Pokemon without killing it and catch it. That, that's pretty useful. But other than that, Water Shuriken, Shuriken is not it's not too hot for it. But this Pokemon just just is amusing. It's amusing and it's amazing. Just look at it. This man has his tongue as his scarf. Hello, he is getting all the bugs. I stole that by the way. <laughs> this this Pokemon is amazing. I love his shiny form. When he gets his shiny form, he comes all black. He's like a real ninja. Like Nappy named the Black Star, and he did it for a reason. Because when he gets shiny form. It's, it's Black Star. But overall, this Pokemon is strictly speedy and special attacky in my opinion. So I'm going to give you my competitive aspect of it um, for this number two. Because if you want to you, you use this, I would say go for the timid um, max speed special attack. This guy is beautiful. I mean, he has enough ma uh, enough special attack that you don't need to put in, uh, get a special attack in nature. So just stay with the speed and boost this uh, special attack. So you guys know what to do. So, Congrats on coming in at number two. Let's move on to the final contender. Coming in at number one is none other than the king of the motherfucking jungle, Simba's pride in this bitch. Well, I could call it Simba's pride, but um, fuck. Nappy calls it scar, so I don't know. Every time I went in, he was like, "Yeah, I still got that scar you traded me." Um, uh, but it, it's, I, I, it's fucking Mufasa to me. It's fucking Simba. Anyways, I feel like Luxury should be a scar. But anyways, Pyro is number one on my list. I bet you guys are wondering why is Pyro number one? He's so shitty. No, 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 no. Pineapples, niggas. Um. Pyro is amazingly speedy and he has a, a, a beautiful special attack stat. I think he's pretty decent when it comes to that. But he, I hated the fact that they gave him the hidden ability Moxie, which is kind of stupid to have because he really, he really doesn't fit the physical attacking uh, category. I mean, there's some uh, some stats where you could just go and like make him that way if you want to play a different style. But I, I just see him as this fast special attacker like Garrett Ninja. Um, He's pretty fast. He he gets the flamethrower, the fire blast, which which don't. He has a unique ro uh, move called Noble Roar, which lowers uh special attack, and I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty decent. Like, you know, it comes in it comes in two forms, which you guys can see on the screen. Uh, it has a, a girl with a, a, a slick back mane, a little like a Pidgeot. That um, now nah, he's got that from Nappy too. Um, but other than that, the male he just looks beastly. Um, his shiny form it's pretty decent. I seen a few, but it doesn't really stand out too much uh, as if it was Garen Ninja. But he came in at the number one spot and he took the house. Uh, overall, this is my favorite uh, six gen Pokemon so far. Him and Garen Ninja, and yeah, they rocked the house. So congratulations, Pyro, for making it to number one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this top five. Until next time, this machine will go. Go be sure to smash the like button in the words of the King Nappy niggas. Um, but until next time, this has been Sheena Huella Go Go again. Um, peace in the Middle East. Don't forget to read your guns because I will blow you shut up. Bye guys. Don't forget to like. <laughs>